What the Tech is sponsored by EPB Fiber Optics. Visit epb.com to find the speed you need on Chattanooga's only network, delivering 25 gig speeds. About 80% of computers end up in landfills, and many of those are thrown away too early. Our consumer technology reporter, Jamie Tucker, shows us how to extend the lifespan of a computer and save a lot of money. Now, computers used to have a lifespan of maybe five or six years, not anymore. If you take a few steps to protect them and keep them running, a computer like this is perfectly fine for over 10 years. The biggest culprits that kill computers too soon are viruses and spyware. Clicking on a malicious link in an email or a website can install computer killers. Those links can look legitimate and even be included in a Facebook or Google ad. Windows and Macs have their own antivirus software and spyware blockers. Just make sure they're installed and active. Never give anyone remote control of your computer. These scammers might say they're with Microsoft. They'll ask you to type a few letters in a box so they can make repairs. Instead, they're installing viruses, spyware, and programs to steal your information. If your machine gets infected, don't throw it away immediately. Seek Cleaner is a free software that can scan and clean out the registry. Keep it cool by cleaning out the vents with a can of compressed air. And the age-old question, should you turn it off or leave it on? Don't turn it off every night, but do it once a week to install updates. Lastly, upgrade the hard drive to a solid state or SSD drive. They don't have spinning parts that can go bad. Unless you know what you're doing, though, find a computer repair shop that will install it for you. Now, granted, you're not going to spend $200 to fix a $300 computer. Otherwise, though, you can save the environment, save a lot of cash by making the computer you have now last a lot longer. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.